stepper motor with Arduino using M block and driver ULN2003. So, the things we need we are going to use the Arduino Uno, which is the main basic component of all experiments. We will also need the stepper motor and the ULN2003 motor driver IC, which will drive our stepper motor. We need this because we cannot connect it to our Arduino directly. We will also need the tiny breadboard, jumper cable, male to female, so check the pins, yes, it's a bit different this time. Another set of jumper cables, male to male, which have pins on both the sides. Now we will need LEDs, two LEDs specifically, red and green, to say go and stop which are our indicators so go stop and 1k resistors we need two of them and that's all for the things we need so let's connect our circuit so this is the circuit diagram for our stepper motor we are going to connect our stepper motor first so let's look at our IC IN1 to IN4 these are the pins on the IC we are going to use four jumper cables the female side and connect it to our driver IC so see that when you connect the wires to our driver IC uh, that you don't you know apply too much pressure on the pins and that can cause the damage to it also see that the wire combination so in my case I have orange green blue and yellow the same order will be connected to my pins 8 9 10 and 11 on my Arduino so I connect my orange to pin 8 green to pin 9 blue to pin 10 and yellow to pin number 11 so I think my input pins are done so now we also need to connect the power supply so you can read that there is a minus and a plus sign on our IC so the plus sign will go to the VCC that is the 5 volt on our Arduino Uno we will also connect the ground so let's connect the 5 volt first so the red wire will go to 5V and now similarly we are going to connect the negative of the IC to Arduino ground so I will take another wire and connect it so now we are done with the connections for our IC now it's time to connect our LED so this is the circuit diagram for our LED indicators that is green and red now take a tiny breadboard and mount the LEDs see that the LED terminals that is the positive terminal is either kept on the right hand side or the left hand side so I keep my positive on the left hand side this time and I will take another wire a black wire precisely common ground and short my ground terminals of the LED after shorting the wires I am set I later I will connect the ground from either one of the LEDs to my Arduino take the resistors which are going to be used for protection purpose only so just connect the resistors to the LED connect two resistors for both the LEDs and that's it uh, once I have done the resistors now we need to connect our LED positive terminals to the Arduino so from the resistors connect the wire so I've connected both my wires as I have shown and these wires will be going to pin number 2 and pin number 3 because I will be programming pin number 2 and pin number 3 in my M block code so check the wires connect the green LED positive to pin 2 and red LED positive to pin number 3 I will also mention it later in my M block code. I will add a comment. So see that the 
pins are correctly connected if in case you do a mistake I will show you what will happen so now let's connect the ground of our LEDs so I am going to take any of the grounds from either green or red so I am taking my green LED and I am going to connect it to my ground pin on the Arduino once the ground is connected as you can clearly see we are almost done with the connections so I have taken a DIY you know it's going to be a wheel for fun I'm going to attach the wheel to my stepper motor so you can do anything precisely if you have a gear at home you could connect it I've just done it for demonstration purpose so you can we have a view of the turning stepper motor so my indicators are ready my stepper motor is here now it's time to connect the USB to my Arduino and connect it to our PC so once we are connected open M block you can de delete Kodi which is there by default and add another block that is Arduino Uno which will be programming now also for stepper motor we, are, we don't have any blocks in M block if even if you search for it you wouldn't find it so we need to go to extension and search for stepper when we search for stepper we will find extensions find the extension called stepper develop extension and there you go you can see the additional blocks in M block now so this block which I have dragged is how to start your stepper motor and the next block is how much you really want to turn your stepper motor so you can also see 8, 9, 10, 11 which are the pin numbers so now let's do a test program so I will repeat something for 10 times that is the rotation of the stepper motor so I'll take a hat block I'll go to events and click on when Arduino Uno starts up now time to connect it say show all connectable devices and hit the button connect once we are connected we know that we can upload the program but this is my test code so I will add a comment so how to add a comment is by simply right clicking as you have seen and you can add a comment a comment is added when you need the programmer or the other programmer to know what this code is really going to do so the other program does not, programmer does not think that it had some purpose and the block is disconnected as I will show what disconnection means okay so now let's upload the program and see upload is done successfully 200% we will be able to see our output and I think that's it and the output yes that's the reputation only of 10 times 120 steps and now I'm going to disconnect it like I have told you I have disconnected my code and I'm going to write another code which is going to be my main code so I put a forever block and my main code is going to consist of indicators wherein my red will say that my step my motor is not functioning and the green led will say that my motor is functioning so I take two blocks set digital pins 2 and 3 respectively so I duplicate the same block which I had used in the test code and drag it down in my forever block and then I need to keep my lead on so green lead is pin number 2 so I need to keep my lead 2 as on so that is high which is true there and then when it is off I need to keep it as pin number 3 as high so pin number 3 is my red led also now my Arduino will not turn the other leds off by default so I need to drag I need to keep my pin number 3 as low so once I have done that I can take another block duplicate this block and in the next case turn my pin number 2 as low so this is how we have done LEDs turning on and off alternatively you can check it in the previous sessions 
and there you go so now I'm going to add a comment saying that pin number 2 is my green LED precisely because the circuit diagram says it and in case if you do something wrong you will know it a little bit later keep watching so and add another comment which says red LED to the pin number 3 so now and then we know that our program is almost ready now things will happen very quickly uh, so we need to add a delay that is weight the weight block so my weight block has to be added in the right place so it has to be added down below after turning off my motor okay so i will add a delay of three seconds for my motor to be off so my motor is going to be on for uh, i don't know how long that would take the rotation but i definitely know how long it would be off so my stepper motor is going to be off for three seconds so i upload the program now hit the upload and then once we reach 100 percent there we are so now we are all ready to see the output now there you go you'll be oh that looks like the red is turning on and the green is in the other way so how do we rectify this we just need to change the leads so just pick and place the other since we have we we have kept our left hand side as a positive terminal it is very easy to remember so always try to follow a, you know a particular pattern in which you connect your leads uh, which will e always make it easier for you to connect and disconnect 